WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday. Three hours left to go on the trading day. We got markets right around flat territory, a little bit of action in the both directions today so far. S&P is right now up one point, trading at 3119. We got the Dow up 17 points, trading at 28,022. And the NASDAQ negative by six points, trading at 8535. Gold contract catching a little bit of a bid off the lows. Gold up $4 at 1472. We got the oil contract negative 94 cents at 5678. Notes and bonds, a little bit of higher price and lower yield. The 10-year up 6 ticks, 129.10. The 30-year up 14 ticks at 158.24. And the dollar index with some weakness, negative 267 ticks at 97.734. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the Dow. We got a slide starting at about 8 a.m. this morning on a little bit of trade pessimism as China saying that they're a little bit worried that President Trump is saying that he is not going to roll back those trade tariffs as they had thought they had agreed to on principle. The Dow trades from 28, this is the future, 28,044 down to about, about 2,940. We make a low just after the opening bell of 27,937. We're now right under 28,000 as we speak. NASDAQ 100 trades from a level of about 83.45. We touch a low of 82.90, currently trading 83.15. S&P 500 trading at 31.19. We were up here for a pre-market high of 31.27, quite a number in the S&Ps. There's your crude oil chart falling to lower prices. You had crude above $58 at about 2 a.m. this morning. We're now under $57 with a 56 handle, 56.82 in the price of January crude. And gold contract catching a bid as you saw the markets Fall apart a bit on that trade pessimism. You have gold trading from 1456, now trading 1472, and the euro US dollar trading at 11081. In terms of what else you have happening out there in the market, don't forget, folks, Basil Chapman just finished up his show tomorrow night, 5 p.m. Basil will be doing a 90 minute webinar with his subscribers to the opening call. All that information available on the front page of TFNN, a comprehensive review of the Chapman Wave techniques and market outlook ahead for 2020. Check it out. Stay tuned. We're going to have Steve Rhodes coming up live right now with, with the Trader's Edge, excuse me, and then Dave White coming up at 2 o'clock with the Power Trading Hour, Tom O'Brien, live at 3. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up right now. We'll be right back.